Hey guys, Mike here with StoneCoatCountertops.com. Today I'm with Shay. How you doing, Shay? Awesome. How are you? Good, good. We're going to do a fun piece. We're actually going to make a piece with some custom melded and mixed metallic powders. Okay. We've had requests on how to take metallic powder and turn it into a different color. And in this case, a customer asked, can, you, can I make brass? And so what we did is we took gold and we took copper and we took two parts gold to one, one part copper and we made a brass. This is our copper and then we mixed two parts gold to that copper to make a brass color. And I think this is gonna be really cool and what we're gonna do, Shay, is we're just gonna do that color over this piece and then we might do some accents, but let's play with it. Okay. But the first thing we're gonna do is treat our edges. If we don't pre-paint the edges, the edges are gonna look slightly different than the top. So we're gonna take our copper paint and we're just gonna pre-treat the edges so that if the epoxy's thinner on the edges, you don't see a different color. Does that awesome. make sense? Yep. All right, go for it. No matter how much. No, it's just a thin coat and uh, it, it doesn't have to look pretty. Just get it on there as a color and that's all we need it for. So uh, when you're done here, just take your brush and do some long strokes right down the edge, exactly. And then we kind of hide the brush marks and that kind of thing. I'll hold that for you so it'll... And then I'll rotate this around. We'll let this dry and we'll come back and we'll apply the epoxy. All right, Shay, uh, we're back. Your edges are all dry. Are you ready for this step? Yes. All right, so you're going to mix up some uh, stone coat countertop epoxy. Go ahead and mix uh, equal parts, part B and part A, and then we'll add our custom brass color that we've made. Okay. All right, Shay, are you ready to add the brass metallic? Yes. All right, let's do that. All right, so go ahead and mix that. Hold that bucket with the other hand so it doesn't spin on you. And the idea is to get all the clumps and stuff. So after you use the drill, We'll use the paint stick and just clean those edges off so you don't have unmixed particles. Awesome. Boy, that's a pretty color. Yeah, it's really nice. When you put it in, it looks like cinnamon, but in here it looks really good. That's cool. All right, then just scrape that stick off in there so you can leave most of it, and then we'll pour that on. All right, Shay, you're going to go ahead and use our trowel, spread that out all over the piece, uh, just how we showed, and then we'll chop it out and torch it. There you go, and de-shed that perfect. So you see the trowel lines? Uh, we're going to chop those out. Okay, that's what, this, that's what this step does, is it makes it look real natural. I, I love actually just chopping a single metallic. It makes this thing look so cool. Yeah, this metallic looks really cool already. Nice. There you go. Good, yep. And I love the pattern that it gives you just by chopping. So then you'll want to go through and do your edges, brush those, and then we can come back and chop one more time. Sweet. Good job, Shay. Thank you. Very good. All right, let's torch it out and get rid of those bubbles. And then just sweep the piece, long strokes, yep. A little bit slower. There you go. Nice. See so how it's almost painting the piece there? It's letting that air escape. So the more you torch it, the more it'll hide your, your hammered effect from that brush. So if you don't like that, you can hide it. If you like it, you want to torch it very little. It, you know what I mean? Cool. Looks great. I like that just like that, don't you? Yeah. 
Do you want to add uh, spray paint metallic or do you want to leave it just as it is? I think we should leave it. All right. I, I agree. I like it just like that. Sometimes it's hard to know when to stop and I think you're smart. I, I think that's just very subtle. It's very, uh, very natural looking. It's subtle. It's not too loud. But when you look into it, it's deep and it has a lot yeah, of character. you can see all these different colors from... Wow. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video on how to take two metallics and turn them into your own custom color. I really love how this came out. Shay, what do you think? Yeah, I love it. It looks great. I love the, I love the dimension of the two metallics mixed together, the way that you can kind of see both colors coming in and just adding all that color. It looks great. You, you know what's neat about just using a metallic is as the epoxy continues to flow, it will change and move yeah. and meld on us a little bit. And if you wanted to give it more depth or more what I call loudness, where it's got this different dimension, you could come back in about an hour, chop it again, or you could take a rag and blot it with a rag, or you can drag a rag to make it look like striated metal or whatever you want, or you can leave it soft like this, and this is more toned down, but I think this is very appealing in a lot of situations. I, I love that we stopped here. Thanks for making me stop, and uh, good job. You did great. It, it did, did the product seem easy to work with? It was super easy. Um, yeah, it's straightforward, just like you said, everything easy. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Way to go. Hey, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. You can visit our website anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Call us anytime for free project uh, support, and remember, until next time, you got this from Stone Coat Countertops. Thanks, guys.